In terms of my thinking through the work of both artists and what would be the most important points of reference and showing them together, mm -hmm. uh, I thought it was very interesting that they both use a constricted set of materials right. in repetitive forms to do like a very broad inquiry right. of topics. One of the things that Broadway did famously was as one of the first French-speaking people in the Ivy Coast, he made it his mission to record the language of the Bate people. And in doing that, he made his people these universal symbols in the way that we see later with Afrofuturism. He's really an unrecognized predecessor to Afrofuturism, which Kalati talks about a lot in his work in terms of Afro-Gallonism. And Afro-Gallonism is the situation that countries like Ghana finds themselves in right now and the conversation around globalism and Africa's place in that conversation. You can see in the work the use of found material and the way that artists can take the everyday material and recast it. You have these jerry cans that are used every day, super ubiquitous in a Ghanaian culture. And alternatively, you have these postcards that Buabre as a civil servant had access to, and here he uses those postcards to image his people. These are two artists working in completely different political and social climates, but trying through their processes to image a people in a global context. In viewing the work side by side, you see how both artists used language. With the Betty series, the artists made language into pictograms. Here, what you have is pictures taking the place of a written alphabet. In Claudia's work, here we have language on top on the surface, readable language, language the way that we are used to encountering it. With Kaladi, who only encountered old art history textbooks with European art. And that's why you also still have this language painted on top of the jerry cans, because he's still in conversation with painting tradition, but he wanted to make the material his own. Well, Antoine, I really want to thank you for joining us today to do a little walkthrough of the show. Uh, I think this show is a fantastic opportunity to see work by two really important West African artists who have not been shown that much in the US. And we appreciate your insights and thoughts about the show. It is, it's very sad, a great opportunity to see two West African artists um, working with you know, found materials that speak to the local, um, but in a global context. The show's on view through June 17th.